One of the more common questions that I get from people researching peptides is which ones are safe to stack and which ones should I avoid stacking together? So in this video, I'm going to break that down really simply so that you can understand exactly what's safe and what you should try to avoid. Now, keep in mind that this is not medical advice. I always suggest that you consult with a licensed physician before putting anything into your body. So take this video for what it is. But the way that I look at it is the general rule of thumb is that peptides can stack as long as they work through different systems or mechanisms. And so to make this very simple, I classify the most common peptides into three categories. The first category is our fat loss peptides. These are our GLP family of drugs like semaglutide, terzepatide, and retotrutide. These should not be stacked together because they're all operating within the same appetite and metabolism pathways. Semaglutide is a GLP-1 agonist. Terzepatide is a GLP-1 and GIP agonist. It wouldn't make sense for us to stack these together. The second category is our healing peptides. These are things like BPC-157, TB-500, GHK copper, and KPV. These actually all complement each other because they heal through completely different mechanisms. BPC-157 works through angiogenesis and gut healing, TB-500 handles systemic tissue repair, and GHKCU focuses on collagen production. And then KPV is anti-inflammatory. So add those however you like. And then the last group, which in my opinion is the most sensitive, are your growth hormone peptides. For your growth hormone related peptides, there are basically two categories. The first is the type that produces growth hormone releasing hormone, or GHRH, like CJC1295, sermorelin, and tesamorelin. And then there are those that release ghrelin, like ipamorelin, GHRP2, GHRP6, and hexarelin. The rule for these is to pick one from each category the GHRH and the GHRP or ghrelin type peptides. This is exactly why you commonly see CJC1295 stacked with ipamorelin because they work together to create natural growth hormone pulses. The most important thing in my opinion when deciding what to stack together is number one, always start with a single peptide at a time. Don't try to add more than one compound at once because if you have an adverse reaction, you don't know what caused it. And then secondly, the best thing to do is always evaluate your lifestyle, your nutrition, your training, and your sleep habits before trying to use peptides to solve your problems. You can save yourself a lot of pain, effort, and money by focusing on building the foundations first. So I hope this video was valuable for you. And if you want more detailed information like this, you can join my free school community. If you're on YouTube, just tap the link in the description below, or if you're on any other platform, just comment the word school with a K below and we'll get you in.